provision for doubtful debts. Sometimes it is considered prudent to provide for doubtful debts. If a debt is bad, we know for a certainty it cannot be collected, then we write it off to a bad debt account. But suppose we suspect that a certain debt may be, may or may not be collected, there is a doubt regarding its collection. It is suggested that we make a provision for doubtful debts in the current year, though we may or such a bad debt may arise only in the subsequent year. We are conservative and if we anticipate losses as per the conservatism concept, we should provide for all anticipated losses. So how do we create a provision for doubtful debts? The entry to create a provision is profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts. To provision for doubtful debts. This is how we create a provision for doubtful debts. How is this shown in the final accounts? In the final accounts, when we create a provision, profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts, this is how we create. And this provision account is shown as a deduction from debtors on the asset side of the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, we show debtors less provision for doubtful debts, less provision for doubtful debts. Now, it is possible that we create a provision for doubtful debts and we also have a bad debt adjustment. What happens is when we have created this provision for doubtful debts in the subsequent year, when a bad debt arises, instead of writing the bad debt, writing off the bad debt to the profit and loss account, we adjust it with the provision for doubtful debts. We adjust it with the provision for doubtful debts. The provision to that extent will reduce. If we need to create, if we need further provision, then we pass another entry, profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts. So bad debts may be adjusted against provision for doubtful debts. Provision for doubtful debts account debit to provision for doubtful debts account debit to bad debts. <clears throat> The provision is often taken as a percentage of the debtors. Percentage of the debtors. In such a case, whatever debtors appears in the balance sheet, debtors less if there were any bad debts. So we have a figure for debtors less bad debts. The figure of debtors that you get, provision is computed as a percentage less provision for doubtful debts is a percentage of this and this is the amount of debtors which will appear in the balance sheet. Provision when it is as a percentage of percentage of debtors when provision for doubtful debts is a percentage of debtors, it is taken as a percentage of the debtors after charging any bad debt. Any bad debt. So this is how it is reflected in the in the it is this is how this is this is how provision for doubtful debts is reflected in the balance sheet. <clears throat> it may be noted here. That while provision is created, profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts. If we have an existing provision, we have the amount of new provision and we have bad debts to be charged against this provision. Then the amount which will ultimately be transferred to profit and loss account is new provision plus bad debts, less old provision. 
less old provision. New provision plus bad debts minus old provision would give us the charge to profit and loss account. Would give us the charge to profit and loss account. Next, sundry debtors of Messrs. Sunil Brothers amounts to 25,000 and bad debts 3,000. They provide for doubtful debts at the rate of 2%. Past journal entries and how is this shown in the balance sheet? So, that sundry debtors is 25,000, bad debts are 3,000. They provide for doubtful debts at the rate of 2%. So what would be the journal entries? First and foremost, there is a bad debt. We could take bad debt account debit to debtors would be one entry amounting to 3000. With the passing of this entry, the debtors of Sunil Brothers is now 25,000 less 3000, 22,000. They provide for doubtful debts at the rate of 2%. To provide for doubtful debts, the entry would be profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts at the rate of 2%. Of $25,000 less 3000 2% of 22000 because the debtors are now 25 Minus 3,000, 22,000. This would be 2% 2 of 22,000 equal to 440. How is this shown in the balance sheet? In the balance sheet, if these adjustments are made later, we would say this is in the balance sheet. I'm talking of only the asset side. We would say debtors. Total was 25,000 less bad debts, less bad debts of 3,000, giving us 22,000 less provision for doubtful debts, less provision for doubtful debts, 440. The amount of debtors to be shown would therefore be. 21,560. This is how the debtors would appear on the asset side of the balance sheet. Sundry debtors of Messrs. Shakti Brothers amounts to 1,3000,000 and bad debts to 3,000. They provide for doubtful debts at the rate of 2%. There is an opening balance of provision amounting to 3,500. Past journal entries and how is this shown in the balance sheet? So in this problem, we have bad debts of 3000. We have to provide for doubtful debts at the rate of 2% and there is an opening balance of provision amounting to 3500. <clears throat> we need to pass journal entries and how it's shown in the balance sheet. Okay, quickly. Um, We write the workings here we have bad debts is equal to 3000 our new provision for doubtful debts is equal to 2% of what of debtors 2% of what is that debtors 1 lakh 3000 but bad debts of 3000 would go therefore 2% of 1 lakh equal to 2000 is the new provision and our old provision for doubtful debts is equal to 3500. What are the accounting entries with respect to all this? First for bad debts, bad debt account debit to debtors, bad debt account debit to debtors, we are getting an amount of 3000 is the amount of bad debt. And this bad debt we will set off against the provision for doubtful debts since it exists 
So we have actually bad debts of 3000. We have an opening provision of 3500. Once we offset that, we will have a balance of only 500 in the provision for doubtful debts. So how do you offset this? We say provision for doubtful debts account debit to bad debts. How much? An amount of 3000. We had provision 3500. Now we have debited, removed 3000 so that we have a balance now of only 500. We have a balance of 500. Next, we have to create a new provision. How much is the provision we require? We require 2000. However, we already have 500. So, we create a provision profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts of only 1500 of only 1500 these would be the journal entries actually the amount here is if you notice it is new provision that is 2000 plus bad debt minus old provision 2000 plus 3000 that's 5000 minus old provision of 3500 or 1500. What would be the amount to be shown in the balance sheet? In the balance sheet debtors 1,3000 less bad debts we had 3000 less new provision for doubtful debts an amount of 2000 that is the balance in the provision account 2000 is the balance in the provision account this would give us a balance of 98000 this is how it would appear in the balance sheet so we have bad debts we have set off the bad debts against the old provision and we have created a new provision to the extent required. The new provision, the ultimate balance in the provision account at the end of the year had to be 2000. <clears throat>